أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friday sermon delivered by Hadrat Khalifatullah Munir Ahmed Azim Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nazril Aziz of Mauritius on 4th August 2023 16 Muharram 1445 Hijr After greeting all Muslims and all his disciples around the world with the salam the salutation of peace in Islam The Khalifatullah Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Nazril Aziz read the Tashadu, the Ta'us and the Surah Al-Fatiha and he then focused his sermon on the rope of Allah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ فَأَسْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانَهُ وَكُنْتُمْ عَلَى شَفَا حُفْرَةٍ مِّنَ النَّارِ فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِنْهَا كَذَلِكَ يُبَيِّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ آيَاتِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ And hold firmly to the rope of Allah and do not be divided. Remember Allah's favor upon you when you were enemies. Then He united your hearts so you were. by his grace became brothers and you were at the brink of a fiery pit and he saved you from it this is how allah makes his revelations clear to you so that you may be rightly guided ali imran chapter 3 verses 104 take hold of the rope of allah together as one united body not one by one no but take hold of it collectively in fact this refers to the verse of the quran that i have just recited before you and which i have developed previously in many of my sermons speeches and books now i want to draw special attention to what is said in the quran whereby allah does not mention catch or hold the rope but rather says grip firmly to or hold fast to the rope collectively this is the answer to many people who say we are good muslims we have firmly grasped the quran we are doing everything that allah has told us to do and we are not doing anything that allah has forbidden us to do and we are following every teaching so why is the need for a community why do we need to attach ourselves with a jamaat that is as one community of believers in one word the quran gives the answer allah says that it is not enough for you to lay down your hand to touch and hold the quran individually you need to hold this book collectively as a jamaat so that the oneness of allah is manifested in this world as well just like allah is one thus all the people who believe in him should also become one that is united i am dealing with this subject in reference to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him for all of you to put the quran into practice directly 
where it will be possible only when a person gains knowledge of the Quran directly. In order to do everything that the Quran and the Holy Prophet peace be upon him have commanded us to do and to refrain from what they have forbidden us to do, it is necessary to have a deep knowledge of the Quran. We need to have this deep knowledge to put those teachings into practice in the way that Allah wants. If you don't have this deep knowledge, you won't be able to understand what things you don't need to do and how to stop doing these things and what things need to be done and how to accomplish them. Apart from that, there is a spirit in the Quran that is the spirit of the Quran. Not many people receive this spirit directly. This spirit is included together with the spirit of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. And thus verily it means one and the same thing which is known by two names Quran and Muhammad peace be upon him. Whether you call him the Quran or you call him Muhammad peace be upon him it is the same thing. For example, when Hazrat Aisha anha was asked to relate the seerat, the life and character of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, she related it in one short sentence, showing simultaneously the true spirit of that which she was saying, that is, verily the character of the Prophet of Allah was the Quran, reference Muslim, or he was referred as the walking Quran. Hazrat Aisha anha did not say to the questioner to seek his character in the Quran. No, she said that his character was the Quran. He was as of the embodiment, the personification of the Quran. The Quran was him. That is why we say that prophets need to come. For we cannot say to hold fast to the Quran and there is no prophet to teach it to us. You can't say that you have grabs the Quran and therefore you don't need any prophet. Sometimes the bond with the prophet is created through imaginary love for the prophet. Sometimes you present sacrifices in the name of the prophet. Sometimes you sacrifice your own life for the prophet. And sometimes criminally also you take away the lives of others. And when you do that, you think that you have established a bond with the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And just for a certain time, you show some enthusiasm, a sense of honor while in everyday life. You have not established that link or bond with the Prophet. So, to establish the link, there is a certain connection, a certain path. It is through this connection that the link can be established. If a person or a Jamaat or the whole Humma does not establish the link with Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, then he will not be able to establish the link with the Quran, nor can he really understand the Quran, nor can he have true love for the Quran. Because to have love of the Quran, he needs to have the excellent moral qualities of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him. And it is those excellent moral qualities which can ignite the flame of love. Without this love, even if you talk about the Quran, those talks shall be in vain. It would be worthless talks which has no link with reality. If you separate from Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him, you will not be able to have true love for the Quran and for the Prophet, peace be upon him himself. That's two names of the same thing that can never be separated from each other. So, for people in general, they need not only to have love for the Prophet, peace be upon him, but also for his every moral quality. And from the moment you have love for his moral qualities, well, at that moment, you can adopt those qualities. Otherwise, even if you want to adopt the moral qualities of Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, how can you do that if you don't have the love for it? But from the moment you adopt these moral qualities, at that moment, there is a link, a connection that is established. 
and it is for the same reason that if a person is happy with another person he should do it in such a way as to adopt the good manners and qualities of that other person and it is for the same reason that all the people who have the same moral qualities feel a connection they feel close and come closer together as for the liars they are always close to liars like themselves those who are truthful and true are closer to those who are in the truth all those who love humanity they would naturally come together in the same way if there are other beauties they will be grouped together for example an artist will come closer to other artists like himself even for birds they group together if they are of the same nature so to gather with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him and to become one it is not an imaginary story if you adopt these excellent morals these excellent manners you will get closer to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him and in return you will win the love of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him that love comes from allah because it is through allah that all the love is manifested and in the same way you are linked with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him will continue to increase this is the truth of watasimu biha billah if you forget this truth you will not know how to catch and grip firmly to this rope otherwise there are many people who say that there is only the need to take hold of the quran that there is no need for unity this is not true unity is required there were some imams in germany who took lessons from other imams at that time they were creating division in the minds of the bosnians who were approaching the jamaat of the promised messiah alay salam and they were using the same words to create this dissension they acted in ignorance of the divine teachings through this teaching the quran wants to bring together people who have been divided but those people whose hearts have deviated from the right path they use the same words to create di- divisions among people again and again so islam the teachings of islam the verses of the quran and especially the verse about holding fast to the rope of allah we all need to know how to explain this it does not mean the unity of one group only but it refers to the unity of the umma the unity of all muslims the unity of islam because in this verse there is reference to a community muslims united in one community it does not mean that each person individually grasped the quran no on the contrary it is against unity The Quran gathers all the people together in one hand that is the hand of Allah and that is the hand of Hazrat Muhammad peace be upon him for he is from Allah his representative and it that is the Quran gathers the people at the hand of the one who has a connection an unbreakable bond with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him the messenger of allah raised with the ruhul quddus this is the community to which the quran calls to as it insists on grasping the rope of allah firmly but in unison that is as one body i have mentioned this subject it is such a subject a lesson that we have already heard several times but how can we do this how do we hold firm to this rope i am mentioning this in detail that we should increase our bond with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him one link is not sufficient there is also the bond that is obtained through iman that is faith and after obtaining the link of faith then at that moment one needs to accomplish the other demands for the establishment of the other links hazrat muhammad peace be upon him was the most truthful among those who spoke the truth thus if you have love for that truthful person but at the same time you have hatred for the truth then at that moment you are a liar 
it is impossible for the holy prophet peace be upon him to remain among the liars and for those people to get peace and tranquility for these kinds of people allah does even give them the opportunity to be together or to become among the true followers of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him so in respect to the gathering with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him it is a matter that is above all eras it is about time it is not something that concerns only one era in every era the people need to gather themselves together with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him they just have to adopt the excellent manners and excellent morals of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him if you find that hazrat muhammad peace be upon him was kind to the little ones well follow his example and reflect and manifest that same excellent manner in you and with the others he peace be upon him had respect for both the old and the young and in everything he always makes sacrifices and he was an extraordinary person if in spite of knowing all those good qualities of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him but if still then you remain far away from those good qualities well at that moment it will be a pure imagination of yours if you believe that you are close to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him which is not the case don't think that when talking about hazrat muhammad peace be upon him or when you read darood upon him and you kiss your hand and touch your feet in his memory or you read nare takbir and affirm the prophetic greatness of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him is enough no it is not enough do not think that when you do only that you will get closer to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him similarly if you just say allahu akbar this does not bring you closer to allah when you manifest the attributes of allah in you that is what brings you closer to allah and the one who manifested more the attributes of allah in him was hazrat muhammad peace be upon him so look for those qualities and adopt them and acquire love for those qualities don't have imaginary love where you say s yes, this is a good thing yet you don't make the efforts to acquire that love but acquire such a love for such qualities that you cannot remain without adopting them it is like this that your bond or link with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him will increase that is will be established and the one who establishes his bond with hazrat muhammad peace be upon him by adopting the qualities of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him shall not be able to remain separated from his brothers because all these people are also getting closer to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him through his good qualities so they are also like you starting to manifest those qualities in them as well at that moment you will not only be getting closer to hazrat muhammad peace be upon him but you are also getting closer to all your brothers at the same time may allah help all of you all my disciples and the whole ummah to manifest the excellent moral qualities of hazrat muhammad peace be upon him and reflect the divine attributes as well as the quran in you when you will follow hazrat muhammad peace be upon him in his many practices and his many excellences you too will become excellent and it is at that moment that the ummah will be united and will become excellent and nothing and no one will be able to break our unity because we are united through this perfect example of among all human beings and prophets of the earth allah's messenger hazrat muhammad peace be upon him inshallah ameen assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh